Okay, this is our engine assembly area. Only the assembly is done in this particular area. All the disassembly, when the larger components are done around the corner, we try to keep anything that's not steamed off, that, that is hard to get to back in the area there to keep any contamination away from the finished product. The same people that disassemble an engine or a transmission uh, or torque for a very large component usually disassembles it, evaluates it as it's coming down, and then they also are the ones that order their own parts, and then they also do the rebuild, and they also take it to dyno themselves. So the same person from start to finish uh, has his name on it, and at the end of the day, he can see the results of what he did. This is one of the computer stations we have throughout the building. There's two or three in each section. The guys actually order their own parts, look them up, and uh, place their order here. Uh, and like I said, they are spread throughout the building. Okay, this is our engine dyno room. This is the control panel used to, to monitor the engine. Uh, we have a laptop computer that runs it. A monitor, which monitors all the uh, critical areas we're looking for, which is oil pressure, water temperature pressure, uh, the manifold pressure, and gives us the engine speed and, and the horsepower. These engines are all run with no mufflers, so they, they are very noisy. This room is soundproof. All the walls are filled with sand to deaden the sound. If we do have to go into the actual dyno area itself, we do wear hearing protection. Again, the same one that disassembled this, reassembled it, and now they're, they're actually running it. This system, we can also print a whole dyno sheet telling you the, the, the horsepower rating at the different RPMs. Usually, uh, high idle is going to be somewhere around 1,900 to 2,000. 